In this video, we will show you how to replace your spark plug wire set on this Chevy Silverado with a 4.3 liter engine. You'll have these spark plug wires making their way down along each side of your engine. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. To gain access to the spark plug wires up at the distributor, we're going to remove this portion along the top of the engine. In this area, we'll be loosening this clamp with an 8mm or flathead screwdriver. You don't need to completely dislodge it, you just need to have a little bit of movement here. Go ahead and separate this. A quick inspection of each part and we'll continue on just behind that. Take hold of this hose, give it a little wiggle and slide it off. Make sure that's soft and pliable. In this area, you're going to find a plastic wing nut. Turn this counterclockwise and remove it. Now we can take hold of this and carefully start lifting it up and off of here. Go ahead and set that aside. Continuing on, we'll make sure that we cover the port leading into the engine. With that out of the way, we have a clear view of our spark plug wires. Before we start disconnecting the spark plug wires from each one of the spark plugs, let's dislodge them from their mounting points. You can use a small screwdriver or a small pick for this. Now at this point, we're going to mark each one of the spark plug wires so we know exactly where they lead to. When we install the new wires, we wanna make sure that we have each wire leading to the proper spark plug and to the proper area on the distributor itself. As for the markings of the wiring, you can mark it any way that you want as long as you can remember exactly where it goes. You can use numbers, letters, designs, whatever you want. I'm just gonna use a piece of tape and I'll draw a letter on here. I have the letter A on the front wire. I'll go B in the center and then see on that rearward one there. Now that I have all three of the wires on the passenger side marked, go ahead and start removing them from the spark plugs. When you do so, go ahead and give it a little twist and pull it straight away from the spark plug. A quick inspection for corrosion, inspect the spark plug as well, and move along doing the same to each of the spark plug wires. Now we can start removing each one of these spark plug wires one at a time. It's important to make sure that you do not mix them up. I've got my forward cable here. I'm gonna follow that all the way along the passenger side of the engine and start removing it from the distributor. It happens to be that it's the forward line on the distributor here, so we'll just take hold of it and give it a little wiggle and slide it off of there. And there it is, friend. Before we get ready to install our brand new spark plug wire set, it's important to make sure that you lay it out and have a close inspection so you know exactly which wire is going to go where. The first thing we'll mention is this smaller wire with the two curved boots is your coil wire. Other than that, if you were to look at your cables, you're going to find that along the distributor side, each and every one of the cable looks as though it has the same connection point. But if you were to look along the other side of each of the cables, most of them will have a straight port which leads onto the spark plug. But you're going to find two of those that have an angled port that leads to the spark plug. It's important to take note of that. Now I have this set up so you can see exactly the way that this is going to go. As I mentioned, the coil wire. For the passenger side of the vehicle, we have one wire that has the straight port leading to the spark plug. And then the two wires that have the angled ports those will be on the passenger side as well. As for the other three wires with the straight ports for the spark plug wires, those are on the driver's side. Also, you wanna make sure that you have the three longest wires for the spark plugs on the driver's side. 
Now with all that said, we can prepare for installation. Let's compare our spark plug wire that we removed to our brand new spark plug wire. Since we removed the spark plug wire, which has the angled boot leading to the spark plug, we're going to make sure that we match it up with one of the angled wires here. And also, since this is the forward spark plug wire on the passenger side, we want to make sure we have the longest of the two wires here. So we've got our little angled boots. Take hold of these, and you can see that one is considerably longer than the other. This will be the one that we're going to install. At this point, let's use a tiny bit of dielectric lubricant along each one of the boots. Just a little bit of lubricant will do. Let's take this and put it in place. We'll start down along the spark plug. When you press this into position, you want to try to listen for a click and give it a light tug, trying to remove it from the spark plug. If it slides right off, it's not locked in the proper position. It's nice and tight down there. We'll make our way up across the mounting points here. This is extremely important to make sure that you do have the mounting points. You don't want your spark plug wire resting down on the exhaust where it could potentially get damaged. Let's continue running this all the way up to that distributor. Let's see it right up here. Press it on. Bottom it out against the base there of that cap. And once again, we're giving it a light tug. Let's pause on securing this wire and continue on with the rest of our wires. Here we are, we've got our second wire. Follow it up. That leads to the center port on the distributor cap here. This one does have the angled boot. We only have one more on our new kit, so let's go ahead and grab that wire. There we are, get a little click from that one. I'll swing it up. Over to the distributor. Got a nice click, give it a tug. Last wire on the passenger side, same process here. Go ahead and take hold of that wire. We're going to pull it right off of the distributor cap. For this wire, we remember, we do not have the angled boot here. This is a straight boot. Click from that, give it a tug. Let's continue on to securing each of these wires along the passenger side, and then we'll continue on to the coil wire. We've got both of our cables in here, they're not twisted. If we make our way underneath that area, we'll make sure we secure this wire as well. Once again, we wanna make sure we do not have slack where this comes up against the exhaust. That's very important. Once again, you want to make sure you don't have any slack where this is going to touch up against the exhaust. Take the rearward wire here, down on the bottom. We'll just double check to make sure none of the wires are crossing over each other. Let's make our way up to that coil wire, right up along the top here. We'll start at the ignition coil. Take hold of that wire, give it a little twist. Our inspection. Now as for this wire, if you were looking along the back side of the distributor, this is going to be the rearward wire on the passenger side. This one's a little bit more difficult to reach. Not too bad. For the coil wire, we'll be running it across the top of the engine. Ensure that you do not wrap it around any of the other spark plug wires. That can cause interference. And bring it down and underneath the other three here on the passenger side. Go ahead and connect it right into that distributor cap. We'll just double check to make sure that's completely secured. It does look like it's bottomed out. Just give it a light tug. 
Now we'll take the rest of that wire. Once again, we're being careful not to wrap it around any other wiring harnesses. Slide that right into place along the top of the coil. A little tug. Let's go ahead over to the driver's side and repeat the process of replacing our spark plug wires. As you can see, I've got the spark plug wires marked over here. Let's continue on with those mounting points. For the front one here, it looks as though somebody already has a wire tie on here. We'll just trim that off of there with some cutters. We'll be using a wire tie to reinstall this in the end. There's that one. Small screwdriver or pick for the rest down the line. With them dislodged, let's start removing them from the spark plugs. Quick inspection. That last one off of there. Let's make our way up to that distributor. With all of those disconnected, we can make our way back towards that distributor, removing them one at a time. As for the forward wire on the driver's side, you can see that that does lead to the center port. So let's go ahead and take hold of that wire. Once again, just give it a little twist if possible and pull it out of place. The next thing we'll do is match this up to the brand new one from our kit. You'll find that this is the longest wire. Bring this wire around. Get it in place on the distributor there. There we go. Give it a tug, make sure it's secured. We'll follow that down to where it connects onto the spark plug. Let's get this forward wire on the spark plug. Just come down. We'll take this wire, bring it up into the proper position around its first mounting point, pause here, and we'll continue on to the next wire. Let's follow this up to the distributor. We'll remove it from the distributor, match it up to the new one, and set the original aside. This leads to the front port on the driver's side of the distributor cap. Got my brand new wire here. Let's get this up to the distributor. There we are. Just give that a little tug. Follow it down to the spark plug. Now it's time for the last wire, same process. That leads to the rear port on the driver's side of the distributor cap. At this point, let's secure our wires. When we do this, we'll make sure that we have the third wire along the rear of the driver's side, down along the bottom port of the rearward mounting point here. After that, we'll have the middle wire and then the forward wire up along the top. Pretty good, let's latch it in. Now we'll move along to the next mounting point here. We have the middle wire. 
press that in. Paying attention to the slack on the cable itself. This looks good, it's not touching up against anything. We've got one more mounting point here. For this one, we have a broken tab. We're going to make sure that it's secured. We'll use a wire tie. Now it's time for the air intake. When you go to put this in position, along the bottom of the air intake, you'll find that you have a hooked area that needs to fit around the forward edge of the throttle body. Once it has, we'll roll this down and align the mounting point. With it in place, we'll snug it up with that wing nut in the center. Make sure that's nice and tight. Let's get this in place. Now we can install the rest of our intake. Let's get this in position. There we are, tight fit. Let's pause there, make our way to the other end. This portion will make its way to the upper air filter housing. You want to make sure that this aligns as you continue pressing it in. You may have to try to twist things as needed. There we are. Once you feel as though you have it bottomed out, continue on with tightening each one of those two clamps with your eight millimeter. Confirm each of them are tight. You don't want any dirty or unmetered air making its way into the engine. Let's reconnect in our mass airflow sensor. Once you do press this into position, lock it in with your gray locking tab. I got a nice click from that. We'll give it a tug, lock it down. Reconnect your negative battery terminal. Start it in, snug it up with your eight millimeter. Double check to make sure it's completely secured. Okay friend, we finished the installation of our spark plug wires. At this point, you wanna start up the vehicle, make sure you have no running condition and no check engine light, close the hood and take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.